where were you when you made the decision? We had a fair bit of knowledge in terms of what the stadium would look like, certainly. We knew the game was coming, and those were considerations. But we really wanted to build something and be part of something in the community. And this is also a great opportunity for us to brand across the country. U.S. Bank on Sunday night will be seen by 100 million people, and we're ready for that. I was going to say, what's more important to you, the longevity of the branding here in town or the fact that people in... California and Florida and New York are going to hear your name again and again and again. Both. So it's really important to show the commitment to the community, which is what this is all about. But the fact that we're able to go across the country and show the U.S. Bank brand, and we're ready to do that, and this was a great vehicle to get that done. Did people try to convince you it's a jinx, right? Naming rights end up often uh, having bad things happen to the owner of the of the brand right so Richard Davis was the CEO at the time and I was a CFO at the time actually and we really talked a lot about this and you know the the Vikings have been tremendous partners it's a big uh, positive for the city the development that you see around the stadium is all because of the stadium this was not here five years ago so this has been terrific for the city right I mean we should in terms of urban renewal I mean there's it's a lots great of story a lot of cities have a good story Denver's got a great story uh, but Minneapolis it's, I, mean, I assume it's gonna get told this weekend there's a lot I, to say. I, I, I expect it would and again all these buildings all this development is because of this stadium all right um, the tax bill happens and then right out of the right out of the gun you guys come out with minimum minimum wage hikes contributions to the foundation what was your calculus at the time? So we thought about this from a long-term perspective. So it would have been easy to let all of it drop to the bottom line. And while the majority is, we thought about our employees, our communities, and as our shareholders from the perspective of long-term growth from customers' perspective. So we're, we talked about a $1,000 bonus for the great majority of our employees, raising the minimum wage to $15. We're also investing in digital technology. So we're really trying to think about all the constituencies and serving them all over the long term. And then, but how do we watching you separate what would have happened uh, regardless in right. this economy of uh, tighter labor markets and so forth and what came as a result of this particular piece of legislation. I think you're going to see top line growth and I think the tax bill has been positive for the economy overall. Um, I believe, and the U.S. Bank is an example, we're going to be doing more investment, more technology, more activity and we're going to have more jobs because of that and I think that's a real positive. When you say technology, you mean specifically what? Uh, digital activity, business to business, real time payments, consumer digital activity, being able, uh, customers being able to contact us, whatever vehicle they would like. Uh, and, th and that investment would have would have come any any way, but has been accelerated by this. That's bill. the way I would think about it. It's investment we were going to make, but I think this bill allowed us to accelerate it and do it more more quickly. Do you have a sense of? I mean, a big part of our challenge this year has been looking at the change in cash flow guidance for this year, but wondering what happens the following year. Right. right. And what what happens to comps then? Can right. you think that far ahead? Yeah. So I, I think what's, what you're going to see is, generally speaking for us anyway, an increase in investment on an ongoing basis. So there'll be a step up from 17 to 18, but I think you'll see it more leveling off, but at a higher level than it would have been without the tax bill. We're in an environment today where rising yields are at least a concern to some equity investors. What do you think, where are we in terms of rates and how they're reflecting this economic activity that we're seeing. So we uh, we projected three rate increases this year uh, from the uh, consistent with the Fed expectations. Uh, we also expect a little steeper yield curve as you're starting to see with the 10 year above 280. And I think that is all a reflection of the economic growth accelerating in the, in the country. So I think it's positive. Uh, is it is it based on U.S. growth alone or does it have more to do with this ongoing narrative we keep hearing of synchronized global growth? Right? I think it's a little bit of both, but I think the U.S. component of it is actually accelerating a little bit more because of things like tax policies. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.